This video will show you how to repair plastic on a drone. I was flying on a windy day and later found out there were gusts of wind in excess of 36 miles an hour. Solo only recommends you fly up to 25 miles per hour. I was only about 20 feet off the ground and it, it blew horizontally. I tried to land it and ended up hitting a fence post. The drone body cracked, the blades broke, and the battery actually flew out about 10 or 15 feet. We had to find it in some deep grass. Now remove the GPS cover. It should pull straight off. Underneath there are three screws and then there's an additional four more right underneath where the battery sits. Just use a small Phillips screwdriver and after you get all those off you'll be able to pull this battery tray out. Just disconnect this white connector here. There's a small tab in the middle towards the front of the drone. You just push that in and the connector will pull out. Now we get a better shot of the damage to the drone. You can see it's completely cracked here in the front. And as I look at the front and the back side or the inside of it, you can see that this thing was almost cracked completely. Uh, unfortunately, I can't just push the parts back together. They don't, they don't fit really well. Right here in the center, there's some kind of clip that holds the top and bottom of the, the shell body together. And I'm just gonna end up trying to drill that out. The first thing we're gonna do is stop this from cracking. And the way you do that is grab a drill and just drill into the end of where those cracks are. Be sure you don't <laughs> get any wires. Look on the back and see what you're drilling into. Move your wires out of the way. You have your HDMI cable and also some motor wires probably your gimbal cable as well. You can see I still can't even squeeze these two sides of the case together. There's something in the middle preventing me from doing that. Now I'm trying to get rid of uh, the material between the top and bottom portions of the clamshell here. There's a, a clip. I end up just breaking it off with this screwdriver. We're going to glue this all back together and uh, you won't need that clip anyway. still having problems getting rid of this air gap here so I just grabbed a knife and tried to scrape away any extra material I could find inside of there. You can see now that I'm able to squeeze everything together very minimal gaps and it's really fitting together quite nicely. Um, I'm happier with the way it is this way. So I'm glad I broke that tab off. Again, those holes we drilled was to keep the plastic from cracking along that line. The next step is to prepare the body to be glued. Just rough it up a little bit with some sandpaper. I'm using 80 grit. Also get the inside because we're going to glue that portion too. For glue, 
I'm using black ABS cement. This is typically used for pipes. You can get it at Home Depot or Lowe's. And you can see it's kind of goopy. It'll get tacky really fast. And you don't have very much time to work with it. It um, dries fairly well within about two hours, but then it'll, it takes about 24 hours to reach full hardness. And I've used this before. I actually saw it on a YouTube video, and someone was using it to repair the fairings on a motorcycle. These plastic pieces that form the body and they're ridiculously expensive to replace. I laid my motorcycle down and cracked one of the fairings and was able just to patch it up with this ABS cement and decided hey, that's where I got the idea to try this out on the drone and I think you'll see that it, it works quite well so I'm just spreading glue all along those cracks I'm trying to get it inside the cracks too so it'll join the pieces together and if it's gobby, don't worry about it. Once it's cured, you can sand it down. I went ahead and stuck a squeezy clamp on there to try and close the gaps in the crack. You'll see it makes the glue bulge a little bit when I squeeze it. Now before I glue the inside, I want to make sure all my wires are out of the way. I do not want to <laughs> glue my wires into place inside the drone. So you can be more generous with your glue inside the drone, no one's going to see it. And you'll still have plenty of room for all your wiring, your gimbal bay, And just a word of caution while you're doing this, you want to make sure you don't get any glue inside the screw holes. Else you're going to have a really hard time getting your screws back in there when you're done. Now the large applicator for the ABS glue was too big to get in to where that uh, crack was over on the side. And I again didn't want to get that, that hole where the screw goes, so just use some Q-tips to apply the material there. And it worked pretty well. I went ahead and gobbed some more on the front. I'm just going to sand it down a bunch when I'm done. If you've got a bigger clamp, you can go ahead and try and push the legs together. I did see a little bit of an effect when I did this. Uh, some more of that glue bulged out and I left it here to dry for two hours now I didn't want to let it dry overnight in this state because I want to make sure that the battery tray still fits on there so you can go ahead and put it back on um, it didn't fit perfectly for me until I went ahead and put the screws back in Here's a close-up of my glue job. It's pretty uneven. You can see after two hours it's still kind of malleable. I could put dents in it with my fingernail. I was a little impatient and rather than waiting for it to completely dry, I decided to sand it down after two hours. Again, I'm using that 80 grit sandpaper. And after that I used some 100 50 grit sandpaper.
you can see as a result of me not applying the glue as smoothly as I could there's some divots in there and in the end even though I sand it quite a bit there's still a few divots that I can see for me it gives it that do-it-yourself look and I'm too lazy to do any more on it but if you want to you can apply ABS glue over what you've already sanded and try and get it down really smooth that'd be great if you want to paint it when you're finished or put some vinyl wrap over it uh, this one I'm probably just gonna leave it like this and if it bugs me enough I'll paint it so I sanded it some more you can see it's still pitted but uh, overall it's pretty smooth and it feels really strong the seam from the crack is just slightly visible on the bottom and now we're gonna try it out put some new props on there and installed the gimbal back on there I'm gonna try and get in close to the camera and I don't do the best job but you can tell that this is the drone I repaired so hope you guys try this out let me know what you think or if you got any ways you can improve on it and happy flying